3.8 billion dollars. That's a lot of money, especially if we're talking about a Ponzi scheme. While we normally wouldn't start off a video with cold hard numbers like this, this one seemed especially fitting. That's because today, we have a story to share. A story about one of the biggest cryptocurrency scammers in history. Going by the name of Ruja Ignatova, she convinced the whole world that her cryptocurrency OneCoin would be the next big thing. However, it turned out that once all was said and done, the entire thing was a sham and defrauded investors of over $3 billion. Welcome to this episode of Super Freaky Science. If you like our content, do us a solid and hit that subscribe button, and you can stay updated on all of our latest videos. Who is Ruja Ignatova? First and foremost, Ruja Ignatova was born on May 30th, 1980 in Sofia, Bulgaria, and after immigrating to Germany at the age of 10, she would eventually go on to earn a PhD in European private law at the University of Constance. As a very charismatic and intellectual person, she was able to easily win over people's trust, which is perhaps what made her skilled at parting people with their hard-earned cash. In fact, as a result of her charisma, she was able to begin a career as both a company owner and a con woman. That's because after serving a 14-month suspended sentence for fraud in 2012, in 2014, she founded OneCoin. It was then that she began to obscure reality, telling the world that she was not just some common criminal, but an Oxford Law graduate that had worked with the respected consulting firm McKinsey and & Company. And in all honesty, between her working out of the penthouse of the Kensington Hotel in London, and her throwing parties on her luxury yacht moored in the Black Sea, there really wasn't that much reason to not believe her. One coin. Now that Ignatova sported a new identity and a new company, she got to work. Now on a basic level, OneCoin was essentially a large cryptocurrency company, which promised that their form of currency would outpace Bitcoin and become the next big thing. And luckily for Ignatova, her timing had been just right. After all, the effects of the Great Recession had only begun to wane in 2012 and many had lost their trust in the large banks that held most of their money. Thus, when Ignatova sold one coin as a way to get back at these greedy and selfish banking institutions with a new and more modern system, people began to really eat this concept up. However, where OneCoin really diverged from Bitcoin was due to it not just being an alternate form of currency, but a pyramid scheme. You see, rather than directly selling consumers one coins, said consumers would instead buy packages that would come with both educational materials and tokens. Now the educational materials were supposed to teach you how to gain financial freedom. And while they did to an extent, nearly all of the information used was directly plagiarized from other sources. Not a great look, but it was the tokens that were the real backbone of the business, as these were what had to be used in order to mine OneCoins from OneCoin's blockchain. It was these OneCoins that would then be traded on the OneCoin market, with each coin having the ability to be converted into euros and then transferred back to an investor's bank account via a wire transfer. Investors would make money off of these OneCoins by holding on to them for extended periods of time, and they were told that as market demand increased, the value of their OneCoins coins would inevitably increase as well. To top this all off, the elements of multi-level marketing were included for added appeal, and so the way it worked was that once someone had invested in any of OneCoin's packages, which ranged from a price of $100 to $100,000, they could then recruit others into the scheme. This was made extremely lucrative because any people recruited would then have a percentage of their OneCoins given to those above them, making those who invested early and were at the top of the company extremely rich. The Scam Unfortunately, OneCoin's business model is not only inherently flawed, but in every sense of the word, ended up being a complete scam. Now the first and most important thing to address is that no blockchain mining ever took place, and so therefore each coin had no real actual value. In fact, as put by the US Department of Justice, quote, the value of OneCoin is determined internally, and not based on market supply and demand. One coins are not mined using computer resources, unquote. As a result, their distribution and value was just arbitrarily set by the company's founders, meaning if they were to pull the plug on the company, the coins would lose all their value and theoretically could all disappear. 
Yet Ignatova did a good job of ensuring that they seemed like they had value, as her flashy lifestyle and convincing rhetoric gave her credibility and thus made one coin seem legitimate. Regardless, in order to keep this arbitrary marketplace at least temporarily afloat, Ignatova had to have some sort of cash flow. And this is where the pyramid and Ponzi scheme element of the scam truly came into play. Now in order to promote OneCoin, Ignatova and her associates had countless seminars conducted worldwide. These all promised that any investment made in the company would come out the other side at least threefold, and that by selling OneCoin packages to their friends, they could use their commissions to become billionaires. Sounds pretty good, right? As with many pyramid schemes, this setup was very attractive to many money-hungry people, and the US Department of Justice found that as a result, $3.8 billion in revenue and $2.5 billion in profits were made over OneCoin's lifetime. However, let us remind you that OneCoins did not have any real value. As a result, the $1.3 billion in expenses that their records showed were simply payouts to investors when they withdrew their funds in order to keep them from becoming suspicious, thus making the entire business a true and veritable Ponzi scheme. The Missing Crypto Queen As with all Ponzi and Pyramid schemes, by nature of being no real value, eventually they must fall. Now, that's not to say that OneCoin's initial growth wasn't staggering. After all, despite only being founded in 2014, OneCoin's revenues in the first quarter of 2015 were already about $100 million. And by the time of its peak in the third quarter of 2016, these revenues were up to about $850 million. However, by early 2016, the first signs of trouble began to emerge. It all began on March 1st of that year, when without notice, OneCoin's marketplace shut down for a two-week period for supposed maintenance. However, no visible changes were made to this system once the period was up. Then after yet another unannounced but temporary shutdown in January of 2017, many national banks and anti-fraud agencies began to issue warnings about the company, with many countries officially banning the company from operating within their borders. As pressure began to mount, investigations into the company began, and it was at this point that Ruja Ignatova realized that her time was up. And so, in early October of 2017, Ruja Ignatova, who was famous for being extremely punctual, did the unthinkable by not showing up to a OneCoin seminar in Lisbon, Portugal, leading to frantic phone calls from her staff and supporters. Many thought that she'd been kidnapped or killed by the big banks due to her influential position in the cryptocurrency revolution. However, this was anything but the truth. This is because according to the FBI, on October 25th of 2017, just two weeks after her Lisbon no-show, Ruja Ignatova boarded a Ryanair flight from Sofia, Bulgaria to Athens, Greece, and then went completely off the radar. In fact, believe it or not, she went so off the radar that since then, no police force worldwide has been able to locate her. The Aftermath So this begs the question, what is left of OneCoin? Well, the truth of the matter is that despite Ruja Ignatova's absence, the show still had to go on. And thus, Ruja's brother Constantine, who had had her lead role in the business since its founding, took the wheel of this sinking ship. Of course, he was no victim himself, as he was fully aware of the scam's inner workings from its start to its finish. Thus, despite trying to keep one coin afloat, he was eventually convicted of money laundering and fraud. And while his sentencing date has continuously been adjourned over the past year, even with a plea deal, he still faces up to 90 years in prison for his crimes. And despite all of this, believe it or not, OneCoin packages continue to be sold online, but the business is very obviously in decline and will likely be completely shut down in the near future. And so it's clear that while OneCoin took many people for a ride, it was an overt Ponzi and pyramid scheme that despite making Ruja Ignatova a millionaire, led most other people associated with it to have their entire investment disappear into thin air. So we urge you to use OneCoin as a warning to protect yourself against other online conmen out there. Because while many companies may sell you the dream of getting rich, in most cases, it just never becomes a reality. On a less scheming note, thanks for watching Super Freaky Science, and don't forget to subscribe.